there's certain things you need in your tackle box to make life that much easier when you're on the lake. We all only have a certain amount of time to go fishing, so we want to maximize our enjoyment when we're on the water. So here's some basic equipment you need in your tackle box in order to have a nicer day on the water. First thing you need is a pair of polarized sunglasses. So wearing a pair of polarized sunglasses allows you to look into the water, cuts the glare, so you can see fish swimming around. You can see bugs coming up through the water column. And then you've got a little aquarium net that you can dip bugs out of the water and see what they are in terms of what species you are, what size you are, what color on the conditions they're in. So you can dip them up and then you can put them in a little vial, a glass vial, fill it with water and you can look at them and you can then you can go to your fly box and match the size and color of the bug that's actually coming off. So a little aquarium net, a little vial, really valuable. And then you need a pair of nippers or have, I've got several of them in my box. I always misplace them. So this one's on a little floaty. So if I drop it over the side of the boat, I'm not gonna lose it, but that's how you're gonna trim your knots um, when you're changing flies all day long. This is a pair of hemostats. And so these are basically surgical pliers and a, hemost a pair of hemostats are good for if you hook a fish on the tongue or deeper in the mouth, you don't want to be sticking your fingers in there because you're going to damage the gills or the gill rakers. So you just stick this in gently, lock it on the fly, give it a quarter twist and back that fly out. So very handy for uh, getting a fly out that's deeper, if it's hooked deeper in the mouth. Never leave home without sunblock, uh, especially if you're fishing a lot in the interior, like it's already cooking out here today. And uh, you wanna be, good rule of thumb, you put it on before you get out on the water. Then you, you don't forget, and then you need to reapply it during the day. And when I'm fishing in really hot weather, I like to fish, I'll put this hat on, which has got a, it's kind of a dorky looking hat, but it covers your back your neck and it provides side shade so that you can better see and not get those that bright sunlight coming into the sides uh, in the corner of your eyes as well so and it's also got a black underside so it reduces the glare as well so real handy to have i carry a, a digital thermometer with me which is always cool to have i like to know the water temperature i always take the temperature of the water uh, that i'm fishing because as I've mentioned earlier in a number of these uh, tips, everything in lakes is driven by water temperature. So I like to know what the temperature is. And so I just stick this in the water for like 15 seconds and uh, it can t it'll read in Celsius and, and uh, Fahrenheit and uh, tell you exactly what the temperature is. And I record that in my diary. And then obviously you've got your multiple boxes of flies. You, can, you can't have just one box of flies, but here's a little foam fly box. It's got a center leaf in it so you can put flies on both sides of it and uh, I'll try to keep things organized. You, probably a good idea to have, like, have boxes with just chronomans in it, boxes with just leeches in it, but uh, yeah, it didn't work out for me this time around. It's a mix mash in there. And then finally a really valuable tool used properly is, is a throat pump. They're sold as stomach pumps but you're only sampling the esophagus the throat of the fish because you want to sample live food items which help you match the hatch find out whether they're mayflies chronomids damsel flies small leeches shrimp zooplankton what the fish are feeding on and it's all going to be live you're not jamming this down into the stomach because everything down there will be dead from digestive juices it's the esophagus so watch the tip in this series on how to use a throat pump properly and this can be a valuable tool okay and I use that in conjunction I'll get a throat sample put some water in the vial and then squirt the sample into the throat pump and you're good to go and then I've got finally I've got my different spare spools spare lines that I can switch on my different rods uh, depending on what line, what different density of sinking line I need. That way that covers everything uh, in the essential box that you need. Uh, uh, have a good day out on the water.